so humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. This is good stuff. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Jeff, congrats on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fist construction site in Midtown. My wife would kill me if I ditched the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> hey, Howard. I think I found one of Pidgey's cousins. Dusty Gray Flex. Might have just left a stain on my suit. Clarence, the guy's a little devil, but he's a charmer. Better give him a pat on the head and point him towards feet. He'll find his way. No problem. I'll do the same for any others I find. Pigeon target acquired. Ah, gotta get him. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to jinx us, but the lead I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason, even Norman pulling our plug. I really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. Take me home, buddy.
there's a pigeon. Oh no, there it goes. It is my responsibility to catch that pigeon. I can't believe I said that. Fly away, please! Pretty well, huh? Getting there. Sandra always knew him best, of course. Sandra? Oh, uh, my, my wife. Well, tell Sandra she's got some fine birds. Oh, uh, yeah. Sure we are, Spider-Man. Thanks again. And please, keep an eye out. Getting away. I hope nobody sees me doing this. There's a pigeon. Don't run. I won't hurt you. It's all over the news. Another battle between Spider-Man and these demon mask gunmen threatening the lives of New Yorkers. I understand our next caller lives in the air. You're on with J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, um, the thing is, it all happened in a shipyard that's been closed for years. There weren't any innocent people in danger. Oh, is that your expert opinion? Well, let me tell you what I've learned from sources I developed in my award-winning journalism. That shipyard was a front for Wilson Fisk. He's been using it to smuggle guns, grenades, military-grade ordnance. Oh, that explains a lot. Ah, the truth bomb strikes. But wait, here's a 50-megaton payload of fat. While Spider-Man tried to grab the glory for himself, chasing one. Another vehicle got away with an arsenal of deadly, illegal weapons. This, for all his faults, would never have let them be used in this city. These demons? Either they're some kind of fanatical cult, or they just don't care. Anybody feel like they're in danger now? Pigeon. Oh no, there it goes.
Pigeon target acquired. Come on. It's a fast one. This pigeon knows the city better than I do. Fly away, please! these names. Is Sandra happy to see them back? Well, uh, actually, she's not with us anymore. Cancer, you know. Howard, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Life for living, not moping. First thing she told me after the diagnosis. Gotta remind myself of that every now and again. Keep looking, will you? Find out the rest of these birds that really mean a lot. Thanks, Spider-Man. There's a pigeon! Getting away. Pigeons eat spiders!
up for officers under fire. Additional officers needed at Carnegie Hall. Please copy. Something's going down at the Fisk construction site. Gotta remember to check it out. Take it down, buddy. No sweat, Howard. These birds are lucky to have you. I try. Sandra was always better with them. They're her birds, really. Well, now that she's gone, they're yours. Feels like a part of her lives on that way, you know? I definitely know. You're a good man, Howard. Anytime you want to stop by and see the family, <laughs> feel free. Darren says he misses you. Thanks again, Spider-Man. Now, some people falsely say I make up stories about Spider-Man. And this will not help my case because it sounds outlandish, but I have personally seen listener-recorded video of Spider-Man snatching pigeons. Pigeon napping. Why? What possible purpose could there be for such aberrant behavior? I've thought about it long and hard, and I think i figured it out. He's eating them. We've always assumed Spider-Man is a man with the attributes of a spider. But what if it's the reverse? What if somehow 
A spider gained the powers of a man, and he's stalking his prey. Somewhere, there's a giant web with these poor pigeons stuck in it, waiting to be devoured. And will it stop at pigeons? Will we be next? I promise you this. I will not rest until I have the answers. <laughs>